amazed at how petty people can get online, on Facebook, you know, it could be any kind of social media site. People are so quick to like throw someone under the bus and destroy someone's character instead of just letting shit go and moving on with their life. And they think it's cute. That's the sad thing. Like, they really do think it's cute. And it just makes you look very childish. And I don't care if, if you're the one that was hurt. You know, I've seen people do this so many times. And a lot of times, I mean, they'll put pictures, videos, you know, lies. Some, and, and I'm not even saying everybody's lying. But, but just why be petty? Why lower yourself to the standards of whoever pissed you off? You know what I'm saying? It just makes you look like a bitch. And I can guarantee you God's not proud of you. There's always a way to handle things and convict people and call people out without being, I don't know, trashy about it being judgmental about it because Lord knows we ain't none of us perfect. Everybody's made mistakes. Everybody's done something that they regret doing. And now some people learn from it. Some people don't. But let God take care of those people because trust me, God's going to handle them a lot better than you can. When you end up doing that to somebody, ultimately all you're going to do is just hinder your blessings and make your heart bitter and cold. I mean, God's not going to bless you when you're out here trying to destroy someone's character. I'm sorry. And even if it was true about that person, let God handle them. Let God convict them. That's his job to judge and to, and to, to put people in their place. It's not your place. And like I said, it ultimately just makes you look really, really petty. But so many, and, and I see it mainly from females, but I do see it a lot from guys too but females have a problem with it it's like oh my man gonna cheat on me i'm gonna put this up i'm gonna put no man just move on because all you're doing is just showing him whether it's negative attention or not you're still giving him attention you're still giving her attention like leave those people alone move on with your life be happy because you still look bitter and look sad when you sitting there talking about your ex-husband someone cheating on you just move on with your life I don't get y'all. And I'm so glad I'm not a part of some of these small towns. And I don't know, man. I can't be up in everybody's business and worried about everybody's relationship. And one thing, I've been divorced. I mean, my ex-husband did some crazy shit. You know, neither one of us was perfect. He probably did more than I did. But I'm not going to go online and destroy his character. I'm not going to go online and help for what? Is that supposed to make me feel better about his actions? No. I don't ever do that, and even with my current um, relationship, I don't go online and just tell everybody what's going on, good or bad. I mean, we had some trouble not too long ago, didn't nobody know about it. Daddy, man, grow up. And some of y'all, like, 25 to 30 years old, and you ain't learned yet, you got a long way to go, sweetheart. Or whatever, ultimately.